Deuteronomy 7, 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy power. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. By today's standards, this is an extremely racist or hateful statement. Call Halal Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Wakakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles, double honors unto the elder bishops. Salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. To the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth that be like unto the speckled bird, the Israelite foreigners. And to the Akwath that are listening and learning, to you I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolm from the branch of the Great Millstone here in Chicago. And in Deuteronomy, when you read, I'm going to read that again. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord. That's in all caps. So what they're saying is that in Hebrew, that's Y-H-W-H. And that is the, and that pronounces Yahweh, which is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Right? For thou art a holy people unto Yahweh thy power. Yahweh thy power have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are on the face of the earth. So the Lord has a chosen people and they have been wronged. And the result of that wrong is, is, is coming back on America. All right. When you just read the titles of these uh of these videos, you know, it's a uh, homelessness, uh make it a five hundred dollar a day, Danielle, America's hidden homeless, invisible people in the streets. Poverty in the USA documentary, you know, the homelessness of America, United, and I've just watched a video with uh, Elder Yashawamba when he was showing uh, the homelessness on the on the West Coast, up you know, on the upper north Northwest, you know, look at she walking sideways. What the damn? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she can't even walk straight. She straight lean to the side, man. <laughs> All right, but um. Yeah, it's, it's, hey, look, <laughs> America's about sideways, all right? And and basically, when you really step back and take a look, the Lord is jacking up uh, Edomites worldwide. There's, there's mad homelessness in Europe, and now they got all them fires going on. And those fires that are happening, let's go to those, some of those videos. Those fires that are happening um, in different parts of Europe, all right, most of those are the places that, that were under control, uh, control of the Roman Empire. It's, uh, I watched it, like I said, I watched in a video earlier with Elder Yashawamba, and uh, when it when it showed you the map, I was like, damn, that was a that that was also a lot of the places where where uh, things in the, during the new time of the uh, you know uh, uh, of the New Testament, those were a lot of the areas where Paul and the disciples were going back and forth to, especially Paul to uh, to go to you know to the Israelite foreigners. So look at this. Yeah, Europe is burning. So the Lord is jacking these Edomites. And then all the sanctions that they did, uh, you know, against uh, uh, Russia all backfired on them. And, and I'm, as a matter of fact, I'm going to play a video. Let me go back to this page. <laughs> this sideways walking chick. That's kind of funny to me. Um But uh, let's just look at some of the things and some of the policy and some of the wickedness that has been done unto Jacob here in Babylon and still being done. All right. So what I'm about to play for you, this is this is like current. This isn't like this isn't racism and hatred from police and authorities, you know, from 50 years ago. Uh, you know, well, I would even say from 60 something years ago, 70 years ago. This is now. All right. So everything that's being done um, in the dark is coming out. As a matter of fact, let's play this video. Breaking news, the U.S. Supreme Court has just issued one of the most horrific and dystopian rulings in history. The Supreme Court has ruled to gut a lifeline for prisoners who were wrongfully convicted. 
even when new evidence shows that they were innocent of the crime they were convicted of. Ruling 6-3, to the right-wing Supreme Court said that new evidence that was previously not admitted due to ineffective legal counsel cannot be used to exonerate anyone. This means that even if a prisoner or an inmate can prove that they were completely innocent and had no fault for their conviction, tough luck. And the theory used to uphold this barbaric ruling is the same theory used to uphold slavery. States' rights. Per Justice Thomas, states apparently had a right to execute people even when they are innocent. Since so this is America. And their justice system, once you beat it, they just say, fuck it. We, just, we're, we have the guns. We have the power. We make the rules. We don't care if you found us wrong. We don't care if, uh, if, if, if you've uh, proven yourself in a court of law. I got a lawsuit going on, and it's the same thing. I proved them wrong, and they just let that... <laughs> Whoa. But like you said, this, these people were able to... They made a law that when if you prove your innocence, but you've already been sentenced, your your evidence is not in void. You can't use it. Too bad, so sad. And why, Because you know what would happen? That would clear out the prison houses, and Israelites are filled in the prison houses. Let's grab that now. This is Isaiah 42, 22, I believe. 42, 22. It says, right, and these are the same people that are above, you know, all other people. This is their condition, part of their punishment. But Esau, Edom, you know, they they forwarded it, the, uh, uh, the punishment, you know. They kept it going when it was supposed to stop, all right. It says, but this, Isaiah 42 and 22, but this is a people robbed and spoiled. Now, this is referring to the Israelites, to the to the Jews and the rest of the Israelites, all right, to Judah, all right? But this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared in holes. They are hid in prison houses. They are for a prey, and none deliver for a spoil, and none saith restore. If that prophecy is not self-fulfilling, especially now with that new ruling, I don't know what is. Because one thing's for sure, there's no Finkelsteins, no Steins, no Kleins, no Seinfelds filling the prison houses. All right? You know what? what, what, what they're, they're the people, the stockholders and, and that, that own stock in the prison houses. And see, and if you, uh, uh, and, and if these people are able to present uh, evidence to prove that they're innocent, then they, you know, because every year people are getting out of prison. Every year there's some case on, a couple cases you know, you know, two, three uh, cases on TV where some guy gets exonerated, usually a Jake. Every now and then it might be an Edomite, but usually a Jake gets exonerated from a, for a crime that uh, um, that that he that, that he's been locked up for 20 years or more, 10, 15, 20, 30 years. All right. So they've been collecting money. The, the, the private prisoners, uh, prison owners have been collecting monies off housing him. All those years, you know what? They should have to pay that money back. Yeah. So to prevent that from happening, they, and this is what this man does. We're talking about a people who will revise history, change the meaning of the words, re, uh, replace, put their face someplace where it, where it was, was not, even in, in a particular time in history, and then teach those lies to the people, and they get angry if someone brings it out or points it out. This is the type of people that we're dealing with. An unjust, crooked, very evil, and vile man. All right? Who changes the rules of the game while you're playing it. You know? It's like playing a board game with a six-year-old, with a five-year-old. They change the rules as they're going along. All right? You know, as they're going along, they're changing the rules. Okay? Let's get a scripture. This is... Uh, Second Ezra's fifteen and fifty six, and it reads, "Like as thou hast done unto my children, saith the Lord, even so sh even so shall God do unto thee, and shall deliver thee into mischief." So Esau's got a hell of a payment and a judgment coming. As a matter of fact, he's gonna get double. According to the Holy Scriptures, everything that he's done, and he's done some uh, 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 horrifically heinous things. All right. So let's listen to this guy. I like this guy. He needs to cut his hair, though. But here we go. Good morning. Republicans.
Americans can no longer claim to be the party of fiscal responsibility and not the party of racist and white supremacy, as no Republican president has balanced the budget since Eisenhower. And just the other day, every Republican in the 116th Congress voted to keep racists in the military and in the police. You hear that? Andy Biggs from Arizona said, if we get rid of the racists, it'll be harder to recruit people to the military. That lets us know you know the racists are there, and you'll do everything in your power to protect them. Now, since you voted for the people who protect racists in our military and our police department, you are complicit in their racism. You are why this country can't heal. You are what's wrong with America. Do better. And so, you know, <laughs> there's no such thing as doing better with these people. That's where he goes off. But he's really good at pointing out their wickedness. All right. And they are completely wicked people. You can't trust in them. See, that's why the scripture says warn to them that, you know, they go down to Egypt for help, trusting in the shadow of Pharaoh and not trusting in the Lord. And that's this guy's problem. All right. But what he said was absolutely, you know, it was eye opening. And a matter of fact, let's play another video. Um where you have this uh, police officer, this chief, you screaming nigga this and nigga that, and if I shoot a nigga and I shot nine, shot nine niggas, I killed nine niggas doing my my uh, 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 literally. This is what he says during my time, uh, you know, as a police officer, and 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 everyone was justified. And if you do it under my watch, I'm gonna make sure yours is too. So we keep telling you, man, that that these people are hate. Hey, a, a guy just got shot a couple days ago in the back nine times unarmed you know a white guy goes in shoots up a school shoots up a church shoots up people gets taken alive but you know but a brown man gets shot down the other guy was that three weeks back four weeks back shot 60 times 90 shots fired unarmed you know not to mention all that stuff going back with mike brown and trayvon martin and the, you know and all that that whole era it's just nonstop. But without any further ado, let's listen to this devil, to this wicked individual, you know, son of perdition here. Let's slide on Mississippi the Mississippi police chief said he shot that N word 119 times, said that if you kill an M effort in cold blood, I will cover it up for you. Yep. And a lot of other things. I have the audio. Here's that police chief now. Let me explain something. Come on. You're going to get in some in the street. There's only going to be one way to find three. All right? Yeah. It's going to be me. Okay? You're going to have to ruin it. All right? Because these other at least you're after. Okay? I've killed 13 men in my career. 13. Okay? Justified. I'm cool. In my career, I have shot and killed in the line of duty 13 different people. You just shot so many motherfuckers. Shot him 119 times. You gotta be kidding. <laughs> Chief they was voted him. out of his job with a three 
to two both. He damn near kept his employment after confessing all of that criminal intent. So there is no, no justice and no peace for you ever here. These people hate you. And it's very clear. And at the highest places, you can't. If you're expecting to get justice in this place, you're wrong. Matter of fact, let's play this this uh, this Elamite again, man. I'm really Breaking starting to like this Supreme dude. The Supreme Court has just issued one of the most horrific and dystopian rulings in history. The Supreme Court has ruled to gut a lifeline for prisoners who were wrongfully convicted, even when new evidence shows that they were innocent of the crime they were convicted of. Ruling 6-3, to three, the right-wing Supreme Court said that new evidence that was previously not admitted due to ineffective legal counsel cannot be used to exonerate anyone. This, this means that even if a prisoner or an inmate can prove that they were completely innocent and had no fault for their conviction, tough luck. And the theory used to uphold this barbaric ruling is the same theory used to uphold slavery. States' rights. Per Justice Thomas, states apparently had a right to execute people even when they are innocent. Since 1972, over 1,500 Americans have been executed and 187 of them were later exonerated. God damn. The black so they're going to exonerate you after your death. And, and and you best believe the majority of those people were Israelites. Almost every one of them. All right, let's uh let's let's grab a couple more scriptures and, and shut this down because this is it's some, it's some payment coming to your red asses because you're not white. All right? Um, that's a, a false social construct stru construct that they do, that they wrote into law in 1681 in Virginia. For those of you who didn't know that, anyone who might be new is watching. All right. Um, what am I looking for? Oh, Obadiah. Um, it's Obadiah 115, and it reads. For the day of the Lord is near, or day of Yahweh is near upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head. So it's coming back on you, man. That is the reason why Europe, all this homeless is in America, and Europe is burning. All right? The Lord is jacking you up. Your economies are failing. Anxiety, high drug use, suicides, divorce. Broken families, everything that, that that Jake is experiencing or uh, has been experiencing here in this captivity is starting to fall upon uh, you white people worldwide. All right. You, you or you so-called you Edomites, because everyone white is not an Edomite. You got to remember our people are scattered among them. All right. I, I really hate using black and white because, the, you know, the, they're false social constructs. But then that's what people understand. So you have to speak to them in a language that they actually understand. But this is uh one more. Let's get Zechariah two and eight, and it reads: For thus saith Yahweh of hosts, after the glory hath he sent me unto the nations which spoiled you. For he that touch of you touches the apple of his eye. So they touch the apple of the Lord eye when they put their hands on us, and the Lord is gonna straight, you know, fuck them up for doing so. And he's and he's and it's happening. All right. So with that, I'm gonna give all praises, all honor and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash, Wa Ababa Ba, Kwam Yasharala, Shalom.